Hello everyone and welcome to the Build.Scale Lab. In this video, we will cover how to use the Landmark Alignment feature on this Techman TM12S. Landmark Alignment is a computer vision technique where we use the camera on the end of the arm to locate a sticker and then program motions for the robot based on the location of that sticker. Landmark Alignment is probably my favorite feature on this robot. It's incredibly simple to use and it opens up an entire class of use cases that simply are not possible when using blind robots that don't have a camera. To explain how this works, let's review what bases are. In the last video, we briefly discussed how all of the points we have programmed were in reference to the robot base. That's really all a base is. It's just a coordinate system that you can program off of. Sometimes, in order to make a program more flexible, we want to define our own bases. To demonstrate this, I have programmed a motion to place the cup on the fixture on the cart purely using the robot base. The program works great, right until I move the cart even a tiny bit. Now, the program totally fails. Let's solve this problem using landmark alignment. Using computer vision, we can locate this marker and move our base on top of it. Now, this is our new 000. zero, zero and any points we program will be relative to this base. Now it doesn't matter if the cart parks in a different position every single time. Using the landmark alignment feature, we can reliably place the cup in the fixture. Historically, computer vision tasks like this were incredibly difficult to set up. They required really precise calibration and lots of coding. However, the lovely people at Techman Robot have made this process incredibly simple and easy to use. To demonstrate this, we're going to program a workflow where we pick up the cup out of the fixture on the table, and then using landmark alignment, locate this sticker, and place the cup in the fixture on the cart. Programming the robot to pick up the cup off the desk uses techniques that we've already covered in previous videos, so I'm just gonna speed right through this. We'll start by making a point, and then we're gonna make sure that our gripper is open. Now, I actually wanna pick up the cup from above the cup this time. I'm gonna pick it up like this, and so I'm actually gonna open the gripper a little bit wider than usual just to make sure uh, it'll get around the cup. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to this edit node and then go to target width, hit edit, select, edit this variable, and I'm gonna change this to 120 instead of 100. That'll open it to 120 millimeters on the inside instead of 100 millimeters. So go ahead and save that. Now when I run this, we should see the gripper open just a little bit wider. All right, and we only want to continue our flow if there is no grip, so I'm going to select no grip and keep programming from here. All right, now let's program the approach and touch it up using the controller. All right, this looks pretty good. So I'll just bring gripper above the point. Save the point. Go back into the controller. Do my Z motion straight down. That looks good. Save this point. And then I'll tell the gripper to grip. All right, now let's step run this. All right. We only want to continue once the part is gripped, so I'll select this node. And then we're going to move straight up. Save this point. And 
And now move our robot to a waypoint about here. Okay, so now let's do the actual landmark alignment. The first step is to move the camera over the cart so it can see the landmark. Now we can do the actual computer vision part of things. If you scroll down and go to process, you'll see this vision node over here on the left. I'll just click and drag this into my flow and I'll click the edit icon. Next, I'll hit the select button at the top here and we don't have any vision jobs, so I'll create a new one and uh, yeah, I'll call it cart. Going to select the eye and hand camera. This is the camera that is on the end of the robot arm. Go ahead and hit set, and you can uh, see in this image here what the robot sees. Now there's a bunch of different options that you can choose from in terms of computer vision jobs that you can do with this robot. Uh, but for now, we're just going to focus on landmark alignment. And we're going to choose fixed. Now, this is where you set the robot's initial position. This looks good enough to me, but if I want to get it just right, I can click the controller icon up here in the top right, move this out of the way, and now I can fine tune uh, my initial position. So let's say I wanted to move in Y and in X just a little bit to center up that landmark in the middle of my screen, I can go ahead and do that. And then I can hit next. Okay, so this is the flow that we're gonna work through to program this computer vision job. Go ahead and close out of the controller on the right here with this button. Now, the first step, is, they call it uh, initiate. Uh, this is where you set your camera parameters to make sure your camera uh, can actually clearly get an image. So you can't adjust the camera parameters manually. If you go in here, you can change the, uh, the shutter time, you can change the gain, uh, you can change um, the white balance and, and the focus. If you wanted to change the focus value, you know, you could change that. Obviously, I'm just making things a lot worse. So. Uh, if you go back to the home page, and if things don't look quite right, you can always just hit the auto camera parameters, and that'll get you like 99% of the way there. So there you go. See, that looks pretty good. Uh, the next step is you can go to the enhanced morphology section, and this is where you can apply uh, all sort of like computer vision masks and extra processes on top of it. So to kind of give you an idea what some of those look like, if you go to the operation type, you can choose, um, the default is opening, but you can choose dilation. You can kind of see how that changes it or erosion or closing. And the really weird one is gradient. See what it does there, but we'll just keep it on opening. Uh, you can mess around with these settings if you feel the need, but typically you can just keep them as default. So the next step, you just click this fine landmark over here on the left, and then now the computer vision job is done automatically to locate that landmark. And you can see the confidence that it has uh, in this, uh, in the brackets here, in the parentheses, it says 0.84. So you can actually set this up in a three landmark arrangement if you so choose to do that. So you'd actually just put three landmarks down instead of one, and then you get increased accuracy. Uh, but we don't really need that level of precision. We can just roll with one. Um, and you can also have your own custom printed landmarks and all of that, but we're not gonna mess with any of those settings for now. And then all you have to do is just click the finish button at the bottom and we're done. Now all you have to do is save it. So if you click this save button up here, it's really important. Do not click this arrow or else you'll lose everything you've done in the vision job. So just click the save icon. It'll ask you to save it. Just click save. We'll save it as cart, hit yes, hit yes. 
All right, so now we're back in our flow. So we're gonna set cart as our vision job, hit okay. So now on this vision node, you can see we have uh, this little icon over here and this little icon over here. So this stands for uh, that this motion was programmed based off of the robot base. That's the icon here for our robot base. And this orange little eyeball means that we have now moved to a vision base. So whenever I have this vision cart base selected from this dropdown, now we're gonna be programming off of that new coordinate plane. So now I just need to program the motion to place the cup in the fixture, and it should be relative now to that landmark. So we're gonna select the controller, go to base. Now one thing to note is uh, when you're programming with the controller, when you do a landmark alignment, typically it flips the Z direction. So I'm actually going to uh, I have Z selected, but I'm actually going to move in the positive Z direction, and you can see the robot is moving down. So that's one kind of tricky thing about uh, landmark alignment is Z is now Z positive is now down, whereas with the robot base it's up. So just keep that in mind. So I'm just going to line this up with the fixture. Now, if you notice, uh, when I selected this uh, vision cart base here, and when I go to my controller and I go to base, I have these new two checkboxes here. So you can see based off of the base, these are my coordinates. But if I select the robot base, so this is just from the uh, standard base, these are the coordinates. So you can see there's this shift that's happening. But we want to be programming based off of the current base, which is the vision base. All right, so that looks pretty well lined up. So I'm just going to move straight up using negative Z. Let's move straight up on my vision base. Set that as a point. I will only want to continue if there is a pass path, so meaning that the vision job succeeds. And you can see this point that I programmed uh, is now relative to uh, the vision base, whereas these other points that I programmed have all been off of the robot base. All right, so I'm here. I want to move back straight down using positive Z. That looks good. Gonna save this point here and then release the gripper. Do a gripper release, hit okay. Only want to continue if there's no grip Then save myself some time. I'll just bring in a point node and I'll select P6, so import P6, so this should bring the robot right back up. Okay, so we can step run this. Oh, looks like the cup kind of caught a little bit on the edge of the gripper, but it should be okay. Step run through this. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take a second to give you guys a word of warning. Make sure that when you're programming with multiple bases in your program that you keep track of which ones you're using and you think about the implications if the base were to move. For example, I successfully have dropped off this cup and now I need to program my homing motion. If I did this off of the vision base, the robot would, could, would move here, but if that landmark were rotated 90 degrees, instead of the position being here, it would be over there. And you might crash the robot into something. Ask me how I know.
So the way you get around that is only use the vision base in a really localized area by the landmark. And then when you're done programming in that base, switch back to the robot base for your large homing motion. So to switch which base I'm programming off of, I just go to this drop down and select robot base. Now from here, I'll just use FreeBot and manually program the homing motion for the robot. I'll end it with a stop node. And that should be our program. All right, so we'll know if our program actually worked if the program still works after I've moved the cart. Let's see how this goes. All right, looks like it was a success. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.